what are my options to get our beer out of the brew keg? You always need a regulator. That's a, a given. Uh, and then there are just a couple of options that you can take for your cylinder. You need a gas cylinder. Uh, a nice, easy option is the SodaStream cylinder. It's small. It's expensive when you look at it over time, but it's convenient and it gets you started at a low price point. Approximately how much uh, beer will I be able to get with a CO2 cylinder this size? So out of the 30 litre uh, cylinder, you'll get about five brews dispensed, five 10 litre brews dispensed. That makes this quite a big puppy. How many do I do with this one? You'll get about 50 brews. But here's the interesting thing. That's about $30 to replace in terms of the gas because you're trading the cylinder. That's at between $30 and $50 to refill, but you get a higher upfront cost just to buy the cylinder in the first place. Awesome, good. But you guys sell this in New Zealand and Australia, and I know where we are in Canada and North America, we have to get our own cylinders there with our local gas suppliers. Are you gonna show us how you're gonna connect this thing to the soda stream bottle? Because that's always a tricky part. Yeah, sure, sure. So what we've got is a, uh, an, an adapter device, so it adapts this thread onto the regulator thread. It's in two parts. So the first part, importantly, is to connect this to the regulator. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna start that with a finger tightening. So that's on nice and tight. Importantly, uh, it's not coming out, which is a good thing, but there is a plastic gasket in there. Um, important that that gasket is in there. If it's not, you're gonna have gas. Gas right everywhere. goes everywhere. The second thing with this adapter is just to make sure that uh, this Allen key uh, thread here is just outside the edge of the, the bevel. So that, that means it's disengaged. Right, we're not engaging the gas cylinder when we put it on, but we're about to put the gas cylinder on. So we're gonna screw this on and then we're gonna just um, give it a, a tightening. So, so there we go. I just always like to, just to give it a little bit of a, an extra, it's probably a 16th of a turn. But what we'll do now, Hendrik, actually, is we'll take our gas line. This bit goes onto the, onto the brew keg, I remember. Yep. And uh, great for gas. And then this pushes into this fitting here. What's really important with pushing into this fitting is you give it a firm push, okay? And you'll feel it go in and hit the end. To get it out, you're holding that in and pulling it out again. Honestly, there's no need to get it out. Once it's in, it's in. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Good. So how do I set the soda stream model up with the regulator? We're gonna unwind this and effectively disengage the regulator. Most importantly, is we're gonna turn this on, Allen key into the side here, and you'll see as we engage the gas, the gas has come on. Got it. So that's it. So that one shows you how much pressure is left in the cylinder. Correct. This one is going to show you, this little meter, it's going yep. to show you what the pressure is on the other side. Correct. And the way you adjust this one is with this little knobby here. So you can see as I'm turning that, we're moving it up and down. Awesome, good. So we've got ourselves prepped with a regulator and some CO2. And effectively the same process goes for this. Instead of just having this really fancy adapter thing is the regulator just turns right into you. Correct. 